here's the video review for Iron Factory IFEX 39 hex wrench, aka wheel jack. You can you can see just by seeing him here. He's got his gun on top. It doesn't have to stay there. That's just where I'm. Where, it's where it plugs it plugs in in vehicle mode and where I'm currently keeping it. But uh, it does just peg in on it. You do want to be careful pulling it out. It's got a single peg pegs into the middle of the car. But you can set that off to the side, and there's a pretty nice looking wheel jack. Um, get everything lined up here again. He was in, in my pocket, so he got a little mushed. Um, now, I have swapped his hands out. He co originally comes with these solid closed fists, and they work just as well, and his open fists that let him to hold the guns are the ones I popped in. You'll see we've got some various hands, but we'll show those off when we get to robot mode. Car mode, very cool. Nice, shiny, red chrome wheels that don't get jacked. Wheel jack. It says Iron Factory on the bumper. Kind of cool. What a nice uh, red and green and white uh, pizza box kind of looking scheme. His other gun folds in half and stores on the bottom, and it can be a little bit of a pain to get out of there, but there I did it just right now. If I say something's easy on video, it always goes horribly wrong, and if I say something's difficult, it'll do happen first try when I'm doing a video review because all my toys have to be contrary. It's just how it works. Wait till Unicron gets here. Gun, so we'll set that off to the side. And to transform, He's very similar to Sunstreaker. I think he shares a lot of the base idea there. But uh, but yeah, so we can go ahead and flip his feet up. We can flip his heels out. You don't need to do that first. It's just there. Happy little accidents, however you want to do it. I'm going to be Bob, real Bob Ross Zen about this transformation. Kind of unpeg the cockpit here. It's a little tab in here and extend the legs. Just kind of, kind of pop them out there. Split the legs apart. Legs are ready to go. Untab this. You got to get this uh, bumper piece over the cockpit, which kind of pops in under the cockpit there, these back edges. And uh, untab the arms. And the arms might pop off at this point because you've got a couple little tabs back here to make move. There you can pull this back out from under the, the wind windscreen. The windscreen's on a little rotating peg here, but you just lift it up and it'll peg into the chest here, unpeg the arms and bring them down on the ball joint. And then fold this up and peg it into the chest like that. This panel right here folds around and down onto the back. And then he's got his little wings that rotate out from here. At which point you can just peg it onto the back here. Shoulders stay where they are, rotate the arms around at the the elbow-ish, and then rotate the fists around here at the wrist. And that's the thing, there's no, why his arms kind of extend if you bend the elbow, the arms themselves don't extend. So if you have them straight, it looks like he's got kind of chunky, stubby arms. You really want to bend them to get the full effect. It gives him a little bit more definition to the elbow. It makes those forearm chunks kind of separate themselves from the shoulder a little bit better. But really, essentially at that point, you're done. He does have a different head. Where's a different head? It may be in the box. And the only difference is the ears are painted a little lighter color to make it look like he's in the middle of talking. Uh, his box is right here. Let me see if I can't find that extra head. Yeah, I did. Um, so here it is. Uh, you can see it's just... Uh, I'm getting both up here. What, the head that comes on him has uh, gray ears. And then the one... They both have the same metallic blue eyes. Uh, the one that comes on him has just the standard gray ears, and then the head you can pop on him has metallic blue ears. So you can simulate as if he were talking or not. I'm not going to unscrew this tiny little screw to pop this head on uh, with the blue ears, but you can, you can get the you can see what's going on there. <clears throat> you mentioned the uh, swappable fists, and like I said, the um, you don't have to do anything to him. He's already designed to take these fists, but you just pop off the, the old fist, just pull it out, Put a new one on. Now, like I said, he comes with these closed fists versus the open fist for holding the weapons. But uh, and, and they work just fine. But you can see the, the the open fists are slight. Have a little bit more. You can see it's a thicker band of white on the back. Uh, not by much, but it, it is about eh sixteenth of an inch thicker. And in vehicle mode, that does help fill that gap between the legs and the back of the car. So like they do fit. Uh, now obviously these open hands like this. 
aren't going to fit when you transform it. It's going to get in the way. But if you want to have him have poseable hands, he's got open fists as well, like open fingered, I mean fist, open hands. But uh, the best looking one, personally, I don't, I, I, I'm fine with him having his open hands in robot mode because that's how he ho can hold his gun. But uh, also, the, the, these fists are the best ones to uh, for vehicle mode as well. They just fill a lot more of that space. His handgun, you can hold in either hand. And then this cannon, it was folded up like this for vehicle mode. It's on a ball joint right here and a hinge right here. A little squeaky, a little worrisome. Uh, and then the peg hole, which pegs into the same place it did in vehicle mode here on his back. But with that peg, with that ball joint, you can bring it up here and kind of angle it. Bring it as flat, as flat forward as you can. Have it come up over his shoulder, and now he's got a shoulder cannon. He's got a ball joint at the head, ball joint shoulders, swivel biceps, single hinge elbow, wrist swivel. He's got a waist swivel, ball joint hips, and a thigh swivel. Decent knees. He's got a heel and a toe piece. Toe piece rotates for ankle tilt and can be posed. So uh, between that and the heel, you can get him in some pretty solid stances, however you want to do it. A nice little wheel jack. Another great addition to what is already a great Iron Factory collection. Uh, looking forward to Heat Death. Looking forward to uh, a bunch of the stuff they got coming down the pipeline. Uh, the rest of the DJD. Um, Optimus Primal. Soundwave. A lot of stuff coming out. <laughs> Looking forward to all of it. Cliff Jumper. But uh, there is Hex Wrench. He is pretty cool. And uh, he'll be going with all my other Iron Factory guys because that's one of my favorite collections right now. I, I say it in every video. It hasn't changed. They haven't given me a reason to feel any worse about their product. They've put out consistently fun, small-scale figures. I've got a whole battle scene going on. One sh a single shelf has a armies on both sides, and that's... Uh, for your space-conscious uh, people or trying to not take up as much room. They're great little figures at a great little scale. There it is, Iron Factory's Hex Wrench.